OpenAI just turned ChatGPT into an app platform, made agents production ready, took Codex to general availability, and dropped GPT-5 Pro and Sora 2 in the API, and also released GPT Real-Time Mini. I'll break it down in 10 minutes and tell you what to build now. Dev day 2025, what changed and what to build. The scale jump. Two years since the first dev day, 4 million developers, 800 million weekly chat GPT users. APR now processes 6 billion tokens per minute. Translation, distribution and workloads got real. Apps inside ChatGPT, apps SDK. OpenAI opened ChatGPT to third party apps. You can build interactive, stateful UIs that live inside the chat. Built on MCP, full control over backend logic and frontend. Connect data, trigger actions, render UI in line or full screen. Imagine this, this is one of the biggest updates since the Apple App Store. And obviously this makes sense before the hardware of OpenAI, which hopefully is coming next year. And it is rumored that it's gonna be an iPhone moment. Imagine the App Store when it got released, the iPhone when it got released. Imagine now the apps SDK being released in ChatGPT, then on OpenAI hardware, being really soon. Can you imagine that? It's tough to imagine, I know. But this is going to be bigger than the iPhone moment. I'm super excited about the Apps SDK. I can already imagine millions of use cases that I would love to build. Imagine running your whole business just from a dashboard inside ChatGPT. With ChatGPT having the context of that whole app, that whole business that you're running on that application, on that UI inside the chat, being able to kind of converse with it, take actions from it. I think we're never going to leave ChatGPT at some point. Discovery matters. Users can invoke by name or get suggestions mid-conversation. Login flows support your existing subscription. Monetization will expand, including an agentic commerce protocol for instant checkout inside ChatGPT. A public directory and submissions are coming later this year. SDK is in preview now. Figma, Coursera, Canva, Spotify, Zillow, all live today with launch partners. Examples shown. Coursera video in line with model aware context. Canva generating posters, then auto building a pitch deck. Zillow map embedded, filters via chat. Context passed back to the model. The key idea is talking to apps. Your app shares state so the model knows what the user is looking at. The other big thing I'm excited about, agent kit, idea to agent, faster. Agents are moving from hype to shipping. Problem has been orchestration, evals, tools, agent kit bundles the pieces. Three pillars, agent builder, visual workflow composer on the responses API, nodes, tools, guard rays, human in the loop. Chat kit, Embeddable chat UI for your app, your brand, your flows. Evals for agents, trace grading, data sets per node, automated prompt optimization, and evals on external models. Connector registry, wire secure access to internal tools and SaaS through an admin panel. Examples, Albertson Store Ops agent for diagnostics and actions. HubSpot's Breeze Assistant composing answers across knowledge policies in local context. Here's the summary of the eight minute build demo. They built and shipped a site agent live in under eight minutes. Classified intents, two specialized agents, file tools, a custom widget, PII guardrail, then embedded with chat kit. Takeaway, shipping loops, get short. Codex is now available to all. New GPT-5 Codex model built for agentic coding. Better at refactors, reviews, and variable think time by task complexity. Team features. Slack integration. Ask for code and reviews in channels. Codex SDK. Extend and automate in your workflows. Admin controls and analytics for enterprises. Some claims from the stage. 10x growth in daily messages since August. 40 trillion tokens served on GPT-5 Codex. Some of their internal stats. Engineers using Codex to ship 70% more PRs. Nearly every PR gets a Codex review. Works in the IDE, Terminal, GitHub, and Cloud. They did a live engineering demo. Here's the summary of the live engineering demo. Codex wired a Sony FR7 camera via Visca, mapped an Xbox controller, integrated real-time voice, and spun up an MCP server for the lighting rig. Could you uh, shine the lights towards the audience?
There we go. I've just lit up the audience with a nice bright wash. Then live edited a React app via Codex SDK. Point, agent encoding that operates tools, not just edits files. New models, API updates. GPT-5 Pro is in the API. Use it for high accuracy reasoning in domains like finance, legal, and healthcare. GPT-5 Real-Time Mini. Smaller voice model, same expressiveness as the advanced model previewed two months ago, 70% cheaper voice will matter. I had said that this year was the voice year and the year is not even over yet. Sora 2 API preview, controllable video generation with synchronized soundscapes, better state adherence, control length, AR resolution and remixes. Example, concept to add flows and Mattel using it for product visualization. That was quite impressive. What to build this week? Pick one lane and ship. Three concrete plays. Play one. ChatGPT app as distribution. Use apps SDK to ship a thin, high-intent utility for your niche. Add login for existing subscribers. Design for suggestion surfacing. Name, verbs, and copy must match user asks. The output could be a working app inside ChatGPT that acquires users where they work. Play two. One production agent. Use the agent kit. Start with a single business workflow with clear data and decisions. Add guard rays and evals on day one. Wire two tools only, your knowledge base and one system of record. The output, an agent that answers and acts, measured by success rate per trace. Play three, team coding lift. Roll out codex to one repo and one squad. Enforce PR reviews by codex. Track cycle time, PRs per week, and defect rate. The output could be a measurable 20 to 50% throughput gain in 14 days. Some risks and constraints. Apps discovery is algorithmic, designed for invocation and suggestions. Agents need evals and permissions or they fail in production. Sora 2 is a preview. Plan for changing limits and costs. Voice agents need latency budgets. Test on real networks. Comment below which player you'll ship first for a live build using the agent kit. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and turn on your notification to not miss these updates. I'm Tim Checker, founder of AI Operator. We train teams on making them more efficient while reducing boring and repetitive work. Check out our website, aioperator.com. Comment below, reach out to me, DM me, subscribe to my free newsletter for weekly updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. And please subscribe to my channel as I'm just starting up and we are in for a ride together.